I'll start with a fresh face and I'll go in with Arglass's Veil Primer. It is my first time to try most of these products, so consider this a review as well. Like any other primer, I'm putting this all around my face and I'm using my fingers to blend this in because it is very blendable. It is very smooth on the skin. Para siyang moisturizer talaga. Other than that, I think na color correct niya yung mga redness sa mukha ko. And here's my reference, drunk blush and a very dewy skin with faux freckles. So I'll start with our glasses foundation stick. Now it looks so messy but believe me guys, hindi sila ganito mag deliver of course. This just got stuck in customs so boo you customs. <laughs> And so I'll put a couple of swipes on my face and I'll be using the Arglass foundation brush as well. Just like the primer, it is very blendable. Like as you can see, hindi ako nahirapan blend. And I think the brush was perfectly made for this kind of consistency of a foundation, if that makes sense. And I think I put too much foundation. You definitely don't need this much on your face. So, dito palang malalaman na natin na it's full coverage and it's very buildable. So, if you want like a thin layer to start, then you go ahead and do that. Maliko lang as I didn't know that it was full on full coverage. I'm just lucky I think I picked the right shade of foundation because this is yellow tone and I think it's okay. And then now I'm just gonna moisturize my lips. I'll be using this Nukes lip moisturizer. I'm gonna prime my eyebrows using this primer from Benefit. And my aim is to make sure that the strands go upright. Tapos ngayon, I'll be using the eyebrow pencil from Arglass. It has two ends, so the other one obviously has a product, as you can see now. And on the other end, you have this spoolie. I'm not doing anything special. This is really just how I do my brows. So I just fill in the parts where medyo kalbo yung brows go. And then I just, you know, accentuate whatever I want to accentuate. For a pop of color on my eyelids, I'm using the Art Glass Blush. And I'm also using a little bit of brown from the Sleek Ultra Mattes palette um, on the outer corners of my eyes and also here at the lower lids. From the Art Glass Ambient Lighting Palette, I'll be using Radiant Light and this is the most glowy of all powders in the palette. And I'm gonna lightly tight line using the Art Glass Eyebrow Pencil from earlier. Before I coat my lashes with mascara, I like to start with an eyelash curler. And for the mascara, I'll be using Fashion 21 Cosmetics. This is their Double Up Mascara and this has been my ultimate favorite from their line of makeup. I absolutely love how it's so affordable but it really does its job. I mean, look at my lashes. <laughs> I'll be using two different shades from the same brand today. So this is Colorette and the first one I'm going in with is the Kelsey. Uh, these are both cheek stains and they have argan oil so it's very moisturizing and easy to blend. And then I'm going to follow that up with Talia. Onto the lips, I'll be using Art Glasses Girl Lip Stylo. I don't remember what shade this is, but I will link it in the description box below. It has shea butter, jojoba, and everything else that will make your lips look softer and fuller. It feels very silky on the lips and it's also weightless. And of course, I'm gonna ombre. I'll be using Talia from Colorette. Here I'm contouring using Sheeta L's Contour Kit and there's really such a big difference when you contour and when you don't. For my highlight, I'll just be mixing all of these three colors. I know I was pointing at one but I actually just did a swipe on all three powders. And so wala kamatayang freckles, I'll be using a hairpin and Makeup Forever's brow gel. I didn't have anything else brown with me, I think. So yeah, ito na lang yung ginamit ko. And I think it just works, you know, it works fine. Eventually, I realized that the marks were too big, so I went in with a thinner um, tool. 
And to make the marks all softer, I'm going in with foundation. The foundation brush that I used earlier. I wanted to go in with a different shade of brown, kaya ito na lang ginamit ko because this was really all I had left na, you know, ibang shade ng brown. Now for my lips, I'll be ombreing again with this Makeup Forever Lip Blacker and to set everything, the setting spray from L'Oreal. And this is it. This is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you want to see something else. Pretty please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and turn on the notifications so you see all of my videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys and you stay weird!